Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem middle of the linked list. We're given the head of a singly linked list and we just want to return the middle node of that linked list. Now, how do you even define the middle? Well, if we have an odd length linked list, the middle is pretty obvious. It's straight in the middle. But when we have an even number of nodes, we actually have two middle nodes and they tell us that the second node is going to be considered our middle node. That's what we're gonna return. And solving this problem is pretty trivial. The easiest way to do it would be to just calculate the length of the linked list because that's unknown to us when it's passed in as a parameter. We pretty much know that there's not gonna to be a cycle in it so we can get the length by just counting the number of nodes until we get to the end of the linked list in this case it's five so then how do we get the middle node well we'd start at the beginning we'd consider that to be position one and we'd keep going until we reached five divided by two and then we would round up in this case it's three so we'd keep going until we reached the third position right over here and we'd return that node with an even number of nodes it would be six divided by two, which is three plus one. The fourth position is what we would want to return. And we could do it a similar way. Now I'll show you a sort of fancy technique we can do it. We can do it with a technique called two pointers. And this technique is useful because it's used in other problems as well. So I think it's worth learning this and it's not too difficult either once you realize how to do it. Consider this example over here. Let's say we had a slow pointer, which I'm gonna call S and a fast pointer, which I'm gonna call F. We have both pointers at the first node initially. The idea is that if the fast pointer goes twice as quickly as the slow pointer, by the time the fast pointer reaches the end of the linked list, the slow pointer will reach the middle of the linked list. And that's pretty much the entire idea. Now it's not quite that simple because we do have to worry about edge cases. So whenever I solve this problem, I just kind of run it in my head or just on a drawing like this. So let's see how it works this time. We have our fast pointer, it's gonna move two spaces, so it's gonna get over here. We have our slow pointer and it's gonna be over here. We're gonna continue doing this until the fast pointer either reaches the last node or it goes out of bounds. Now our slow pointer is going to be in the middle. Our fast pointer is gonna move two spots. Now it's all the way at the end. So we just ran this on an odd length linked list and it worked out and it's always gonna work out like this on an odd length linked list. Because imagine if instead of being length of five, it was length of three. This is where our simulation would have ended. Our slow pointer would have still been at the middle and our fast pointer would have been at the end and we would have just returned. Now, if we just had a linked list of length one, we would pretty much start at the solution and that's what we would return. Quickly, let's run this on a four length linked list. We have our slow pointer here again. This is an even length linked list, our fast pointer here. Slow moves one spot, fast goes two spots. Our fast pointer has still not reached the end of the linked list, so we continue. Slow pointer moves one spot, fast pointer moves one spot here, and then a second spot here. Now it's out of bounds, so of course we have to stop. Our slow pointer ended exactly at the position that we wanted it to end at. This is the node that we would return. So you can see it works out for even length linked lists as well. In a sense, since we have two pointers, we're sort of still iterating through the linked list twice, but the overall time complexity of that would be two times n, which is still big O of n. We don't need any extra memory complexity because we're not using any additional data structures. So our memory complexity will be constant space. Now let's code it up. The first thing I'm gonna do is just initialize our two pointers, slow and fast. They're both gonna point at the head pointer. And then what I'm gonna do is just like in the drawing, we're gonna keep going until our fast pointer reaches the last node or it goes out of bounds. First, we have to check it's not out of bounds. So fast should be non-null. And if the next pointer of fast is non-null, then we know it's not at the last node yet. Therefore, we would continue. We'd set our slow pointer equal to slow.net Next, we'd set our fast pointer equal to fast.next.next. And we know we're gonna reach the end of the linked list eventually, so when that is complete, we're gonna go ahead and return the slow pointer. Let's run this to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes it does, and it's pretty efficient. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. It has a ton of free resources to help you prepare. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon.